Today I got a leaking strainer basket. It's leaking from right here. It's cracked and leaking. So I'm gonna show you how to replace one of these. Uh, I'm gonna be using a little bit different style to replace it with. Just want to make sure the profile's close enough to to work in length, and this appears that it will be. It's going to be a little bit, come up a little bit, but we should have enough with the slip joint plumbing to be able to adjust it and make it fit. So anyway, removing the old one. We've got these three screws here, and this loosens the top bracket. This presses the gasket up against the, the sink. Just gonna loosen all this up. So move our sponge cord out of the way here. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna remove the in there which is fine so we'll need it for the new one so now it's just a matter of removing all this here Way to get it off. All right. Okay. Anyway, it is a good idea to wear gloves, especially when working with the plumber's putty. Is the the plumber's putty can be kind of stinky. This way when you go to eat lunch, your sandwich doesn't wind up tasting like plumber's putty because I can tell you it's not a good taste. Okay. This part should unscrew. Plumber's putty is falling down. Okay. Nasty stuff. Here's some more. There we go. Separated that. We just sat into a cup, man. Is that nasty or what? Push the old one out. Now on our new kit, we want to separate all this portion. And it does have handy instructions uh, on the bottom. Anyway. And this trim plate and the gasket go on the bottom portion, so the top portion just passes through and seats. Anyway. 
off and do all this twisty tie to pull out the strainer basket. And get this thing going here. And it's got its own collar net. For the collar net portion, yeah, this and this here, and slide the slip, bolt, slip joint plumbing up and off here. that we can replace this collar net with this one here. Okay. This little piece goes inside the top here and this piece slides on through the bottom. Okay. And then this part slides on here like so. And now it's ready for assembly, but we don't want to get too crazy with it yet until we're ready there, okay? The rest is on the bottom here. What we can do is go ahead and get this ready as this seal plate and the gasket goes on the bottom here, okay? So now we're ready and we'll go up top. Okay, up top here we got our drain opening. And again, here's our new, here's our new basket. Okay, and what we want to do is put plumber's putty around the inside here. First we'll clean this all off. Real good. So we have a nice clean area to make here. And uh, let me get my gloves going here because this plumber's putty is some smelly stuff. So. If you got any old junky stuff, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get rid of the contaminant stuff here stuff. We want nice, fresh, clean plumber's putty. What you want to do is roll it like Play-Doh in a circle. And we want to make a circle all the way around. This deal here. And kind of press it into place so that there is not going to be any chance of any spot getting missed. Because once this presses into place, it's going to squeeze everything out. And seal between the two the metal and the plastic. So, okay. Now that that's in place, we don't want to get any on the threads here, on any of these threads. We just want it to seat like so. So now we're ready on the bottom portion. And what you need is a screwdriver or something that you can stick down in the slot there to keep it from turning. I'm gonna use my Leatherman because it's got a bigger screwdriver, a fatter screwdriver than my in my screwdriver. So anyway, I got a nice big screwdriver here and I'll just insert that in a slot and, and use that to keep it from turning. Now coming back down to the bottom. We already got our trim plate and gasket here and ring ready to go here. So we slide these up to the top and then just carefully thread this on, making sure it's not cross-threaded. and then just spin it into place. Up top, it's going to start to squeeze the plumber's putty out as we tighten this down. And then we just tighten it securely. It's a quarter turn past tight. On there. And you want to look at your gasket, try to make sure it's pretty much even all the way around. This one is. There we 
we go. Okay. I'll get my Leatherman back. Now on the bottom portion, we're going to slide this up to me. And you can see how this part is too short. It's not going to reach all the way. Anyway, tighten this portion on. And this, we just hand tighten it. nice and handy. Then on the bottom nuts what we're going to have to do is loosen this portion here and hopefully this has enough room to slide up a bit more onto here. So just loosen this. So this is usually hand tightened. Looks like someone's tightened it a little bit more. Anyway, gonna loosen this up. This particular fitting up top has a beveled washer, whereas this had a flat washer like this, where it's got okay different types of washer. This particular, sorry, this particular nut here that I'm untwisting has the washer built into itself. But anyway, you can see we have enough room now to slide this portion up more. So we'll use this down at the bottom and we can tighten it down here and now we'll have enough, our pipe will be extended enough. Again, always take care not to, not to get cross threaded. Okay. This is just typical slip joint plumbing. Yeah, it generally only needs to be hand tightened. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we got everything hand tightened now, and now we're ready to uh, leak test it. But uh, before we do that, what we want to do is come up here and just remove any of the uh, excess putty from the top here. So. We're just going to pull this out all the way around. And as long as this is clean, we can put it back in our plumber's putty bucket. If it's got any kind of contaminants or anything, just throw it away. It'll be better off. And if there's any doubt, just throw it away. Plumber's putty is only like a dollar, dollar fifteen for a little bucket, so no biggie. So before I get make it perfect, I'm going to go ahead and just run the water and retest it here. Look for any leaks down below. And at this point it's a good point to go ahead and field test it. Your hand's a little more sensitive than just doing it by eye. Sometimes you can't see that well. Alright, and it seems to be holding good. So now what we want to do is pressure test it. And the way we pressure test it is just put our sink basket in or plunger. This particular model actually came with its own sink strainer basket. But this is holding the water, so it's enough for the pressure test. So we'll fill it up about a, you know, a quarter to halfway, somewhere around there. And then go ahead and pull the plug while checking down below. And then go ahead and pull the plug. And that will force the water through a lot faster. And it appears that we're good here. No leaks. Nothing dripping. Now we're going to go ahead and clean it up up here. Go ahead and pull the blue trim off. A nice shiny brand new deal here. And then we want to clean up all this excess plumber's putty. So we want it to just do its job but be invisible. And we don't want it to get in anybody's rag or anything like that when they're going to clean. So. Take my screwdriver and rotate it around the, the inside lip just to take off all that 
excess that here. test it again and this time I'll use the actual strainer that came with the basket and this just goes in only in one way usually it sits like this and you can get most of your food chunks out and if you want to plug the drain just turn it in like a so and now we're gonna go ahead and fill it up again and reset it. As it fills with water, we're going to check all around here and all down here to make sure that we don't have any leaks showing up. I'd rather do this once than have to come back and do it again. Have a mess with the wet cabinets and all. So it seems like we're holding good here, though. I'm we'll just go about halfway full and then go ahead and pull your plug. And we'll check for any leaks down here. And looks like we're good. No, no leaks. Everything's nice and clear. And no leaks showing up. So we're all set there. Job complete. That's how you replace a sink basket. Good to go. Nice and shiny. Nice and new. All set.